How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood's East Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with the Shaving Cadre. Today we're going to be doing our review of <clears throat> Murphy and McNeil's Garda Shiokana. Uh, again, if you haven't seen my first impressions video, um, this is a collaboration soap between Murphy and McNeil and Rudd Shaves. Um, and it's the proceeds for this, a portion of the proceeds for this, go to support the Officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. Fund. Um, and it's a good all-around fund. Uh, it supports, they have scholarships for seniors going into college, uh, as well as for <clears throat> people suffering from serious diseases, as well as, of course, uh, first responders and uh, military service members and veterans. Um, Scent on this is modeled after Dolce & Gabbana's um, light blue pour on and uh, real nice. As I said previously, it reminds me of a, uh, it's a I would classify it as an aquatic, um, but it's, it kind of reminds me of a, a fresh barbershop, kind of like American Blend mixed with a Creed uh, Silver Mountain Water um, or Mountain Man by Sterling. Um, Matterhorn by WSP, take your pick. Uh, so, <clears throat> been really busy the past few days. Really haven't had a chance. This is going to be my uh, my third lathering on it. Um, I am going to be using a a synthetic today. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter tuxedo uh, in the uh, <clears throat> TSC Legacy brush, uh, done by Eric Sorrentino of the sh Shaving Cadre, uh, Smatiu. And then the razor, we're going to be using another straight razor. This time a Kloss Tornblom. Uh, this is a 9 16 so it's just slightly under a 5 8 razor. Uh, full hollow ground, Swedish steel, so it's uh, very, holds its edge really, really well. Um, this is kind of like, I call it the bamboo Ferrari because it's so nimble on the face. Uh, this was graciously gifted to me by Major Rich of the Shaving Cadre. Uh, check him out at Rich Shaves. Um, he's uh, listed in my favorite channels, uh, so uh, check him out if you get a chance. Um, not going to be loading off the, uh, <clears throat> loading off the, uh, excuse me, the puck today. Um, took a couple snurdles, put them in my lather bowl, and, uh, along with a tiny bit of water. So let's go ahead and, uh, get going with this. So I did put quite a bit in. Uh, again, the thought process behind that is it's better to have too much than not enough. Um, it is only soap. So you can see it's a nice thick paste we got going there. And we're just going to dip tips and add water that way. Hope everybody had a very safe and fun 4th of July. Hard to believe that it's already, we're already, uh, already into July. Halfway, more than halfway through the year. So... I'll be shaving about five days worth of growth. All I'm doing right here is just incorporating the water before I start whipping. A little bit more water in there. Incorporate that. I'll start whipping and incorporating some air. Uh, as I stated in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, uh, strength of scent is around two and a half to three. Um, I would say it's two and a half off the puck, about three once lathered. Um, really pleasant. It is a later scent complexion. Um, so the lighter scent strength, I think, plays into that. Um, if it were any stronger, it would be overpowering. So I think that the they balance the strength of scent really, really well. We're going to go with that. If I need to add more water, I can add more um, as I'm face lathering. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to do a... Uh, my hot towel, like I usually do, 
and we'll do one pass, get to the next two, and then we'll do a full review where I'll give it some uh, some addition, some marks. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and I'll be right back. Let's get right into this. So the leather is a bit pasty still, so we're going to be adding a little bit of water. So I shave typically at the end of my day. It's one of the last things I do. Um, and this is why um, I always incorporate a hot towel um, because again uh, prep is an absolutely vital part of getting a very good shave. If I were day, do, uh, taking a shower prior to shaving it wouldn't be as necessary. but. In order to fully soften the whiskers, you need three primary things. Heat, water, and some sort of acidic element. So the soap combined with the lather along with the hot towel gives all of these. And then a little bit of rubbing. I rub the uh, whatever's left over from underneath the hot towel, rub that into my skin. And that helps activate the sebaceous glands as well as any additional face lathering I might be doing. Right here, this is helping activate the sebaceous glands to really sebum, which is the body as a natural lubricant <laughs> that the body releases. And this is a really nice mid structure lather, uh, really high sheen to it. So, uh, much better lather than I got in the previous video. Typically when you have really good sheen on a lather, it's an indication that the hydration level is good. The slickness is going to be resultingly good. And that's the case here. It's got very, very good slickness. Very pleased with that. Very pleasant first pass. Zero drama. Okay, 
I'm gonna go ahead, cut away. We're gonna fast forward through the next two, uh, two passes and uh, I'll be back for some final thoughts and the review. See you in a second, guys. All right, guys. Just finished the third pass. Uh, let's take some alum. See how we did. Nothing on the cheeks. Nothing. Nothing on the face. Really, nothing anywhere. That was a comfortable shave. All right, guys. We uh, we will be right back and uh, do the uh, we'll go over the scores for the soap. Uh, see you in a minute. All right, guys. We're back and uh, done with our cleanup. Uh, put our witch hazel on. Uh, before we get into the uh, review on Murphy and McNeil's Garda Shiochana, uh, we're gonna do our uh, little uh, post shave, after shave. So we're gonna use a balm today and we're gonna infuse it with some eau de toilette. So this is the Paladin Unscented Balm. Unfortunately, this is uh, not available anymore. Um, I just use three small squirts. And then we're using Blenheim Bouquet from Penhaligans. And we're just gonna, real quick, two small squirts. I found that three Little squirts of the uh, Paladin soap is enough to fully moisturize my skin uh, without making it oily. Uh, some people can use just two, some people might need a little more. I think my skin is kind of on the center line as far as uh, <coughs> how dry it gets or how moist it, uh, moisturized it usually is on its own naturally. So, all right, so let's get into my thoughts on this soap base. Um, again, I haven't done a review in a while, uh, so just to go through it real quick, everything's a, t it's based on a, uh, each each section gets a score out of 10, the higher the better. Um, there are nine categories for performance, and then I also have a multiplier uh, of enjoyment factor that can only take the score down because it's anything, it's one and below, so it goes in increments of 0 .05. Uh, so you'll get a performance total, and then you'll get an overall score. Uh, the overall score is reflective of how much I enjoyed using the particular soap scent. Uh, scent does not play part in the performance total, though. So, for Murphy McNeil Garter Shiokana loading, because I would pretty much classify this as a cream, um, loading is about as easy as it gets, so 10 out of 10. Lathering, um, it does lather up pretty easily. 
Um, it's pretty easy to find the water uh, where you need to be water-wise. Um, it stays glossy for a very long amount of time. Uh, so lathering is really easy. There's a very usable uh, range that you can uh, take it from a little more on the tacky side if you like a drier lather or very wet. So 8 out of 10 for lathering. Um, not quite the easiest to lather. Could be easier, uh, but not hard by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, water band, as I said, it's got a pretty wide water band. Not the widest I've seen, uh, but definitely no slouch. Very large usable area of lather as far as hydration is concerned, so 8 out of 10 there. Cushion and protection. Out of all the performance measures, this is where this soap really shined. Um, this is elite level uh, cushion and protection, 9.5 out of 10. It's not quite as good as some of the absolute top tier soaps on the market, um, but it really is no slouch there. I mean, it is almost as good as, as, as some of the best. Uh, slickness, glide, and residual slickness are both going to get the same score, 8.5 out of 10. Um, it does have very good residual slickness. I would actually say it's excellent residual slickness and excellent slickness and glide. Uh, so slickness and glide is while you have the lather on your face. Residual slickness is what's left over after you've already shaved over that area. Um, so you can shave over that area again. Um, stability, very stable soap. Don't have to worry about it breaking down at all. Uh, 10 out of 10 there. Face feel. This does feel very silky on the face. Um, there's very few soaps that feel better on the face than this. Um, I gave that an 8 out of 10. Uh, post shave. Don't really need an aftershave. I'm a big believer in my post shave routine. So um, I'm a creature of habit. So I gave that an eight, uh, 8 out of 10 as well. So the performance total is going to be, take all these, average amount, add them up and average amount. Comes out to 8.72. That's an excellent score. Um, that is just short of the elite level soaps. Uh, score is just above, uh, or excuse me, just below Katie's, Bubble, Katie's Bubbles Luxury Cream, uh, the jojoba base. Um, so take that at however you want. Um, actually, I'm sorry, that's the luxury soap. My mistake, um, which is an excellent soap. Um, and, but it's going to score a lot higher than most other soaps out there. 8.72 is an absolutely excellent score. Uh, enjoyment factor, I give it a 0.95. Really enjoyed the scent. Really enjoyed the fact that this goes to uh, a really nice charity. Uh, so I really did enjoy using this soap. Um, and so the, the, the overall score is 8.28, which puts it just above Soapy Science. Uh, which is saying something. Soapy Science is another one that does donate to uh, charitable organizations. Um, so I get a kick out of using soaps like that. And uh, anytime that something that fuels my hobby um, will help somebody else um, outside of the, the artisan or manufacturer, if it goes to help a nice charity, um, more the better. So Overall, 8.28, really solid score. Um, I would put this, if you want to use the tier system, uh, tier one or elite being box one, and you have 10 boxes, uh, I would put this at a tier one, box three, um, possibly a box two. So this is near elite status soap. Um, biggest knock on it is the fact that it's not an actual soap, it's cream. You do have to use a little bit more soap um, to get it where you want. I would classify this as a cream actually. Uh, but overall, great job from Murphy McNeil. Great scent. Great decision from, uh, from you guys in Reds. I, I love the collaboration here. Um, and I love the theme and the, uh, the, the, whole, the whole thing. So if you haven't checked out Murphy McNeil, go ahead and check him out, murphymcneil.com. Um, I'll include the link in the description below. Uh, also check out Red Shaves. Um, his his uh, <clears throat> what YouTube channel will be um, in the description below. And also check out the Officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. Fund um, as well. I will include that link in the, uh, the video description. So that's all I've got for today, guys. Again, a really nice shave. Um, I'm uh, BBS minus, uh, surprisingly, even not having gone against the grain. Uh, so really, really rewarding shave with very little to no irritation or feedback. So um, 
you gotta you gotta love that guys that's why we do this so stop on by check out the shaving cadre www.theshavingcadre.com uh great discussions and we're just doing it the the site is doing nothing but growing and discussions are getting better and better as we go and as we add new members and more experience so <clears throat> stop and by check us out until next time guys in the next video you guys stay safe stay cool back in the states um for those in the southern hemisphere stay warm and uh <clears throat> stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace